morning, great afternoon, great evening. Hey love, hey love, hey love. I am Jesse C. Love, also known as Teacher Love, Coach Love. This is the Love Your Health, Love Your Life, Love Yourself Education and Information segment. I am not a medical professional making any medical claims to cure, mitigate, diagnose, treat, or prevent any disease, health issue, or as I say, disease within the body. It will do you your own due diligence to research and consult your medical profession before you partake in anything that I present or stop using anything that I present. Welcome to all my lovely butterflies, those of you who've been with me since 2017, whether somebody shared me or you found me on your own or you know, I appreciate your time. This is about sleep and inertia. Ooh, it's starting to rain. Not hitting the snooze button when we wake up, which a lot of people tend to do. Burning the midnight oil, calling it grinding. Hey, Jacqueline, hey, people. All night long, that's not the way to be. And a lot of us have gotten a little misconstrued with thinking that we have to be up all night and then get up later in the morning. Whereas you really want to have a set time to go to sleep with no interruptions. <laughs> Cute. Oh my gosh. What I found is that if you think about it, thank you for sharing T Cole. When you wake up a child, if you have a child, when they first wake up, they're groggy and they don't comprehend very well. They're not even listening to you and don't comprehend anything. It's like they're sleepwalking. Well, that's the way that we are when we wake up in the morning. If you think about how you sleep, when we sleep, we have sleep patterns. 75 to 90 minutes, we sleep in those kind of zones. So when we wake up late at night and then we got to go back to sleep, we get into a deep sleep. And once we're there, we have these different levels. Bed up at, bed up at 11, at 11. <laughs> up at 4, is what I used to do, be live at like 4. What I did notice, however, is when I would hit the snooze button and go back to sleep for maybe like five minutes, because our snooze button is like five, seven minutes, maybe nine minutes, maybe even 15. By the time I got up, I was really sleepy and tired. And then I would have to take a nap later on. Because when we hit a snooze button and we make ourselves go back to sleep for that five to 15 minutes, what's happened is the body, the brain has said, wait a minute, we're in a sleep pattern. 75 minutes to 90 minutes is what I'm expecting to do. So when we hit that snooze button and it's only been 5, 10, 15 minutes, it's going to take about four hours, according to the research that I found, for your brain to finally wake up. And those of you who know, yes, I do deal with coffee. And a lot of people, the reason why you feel like you have to have that morning caffeine to get you going is because you probably hit the snooze button and you didn't sleep. You don't have to have it. One of the researchers that I found said that when you hit that snooze button and you feel like you're groggy and you don't have energy, one way to make wake your mind up, your brain up, to let it know, hey, we're not going back to sleep, is to take a cool or cold shower. I don't want to do that. My thing is... One, don't hit the snooze button. Two, in order to have your focus be sharp, your clarity to be there, go to bed at night. Once your body wakes up, get up. If you have a passion that you're working on, it will automatically make you jump up and say, I'm getting to my day. I'm going to get started with my day. I'm not going to roll over and hit the snooze button because I'm excited about what it is I'm going to do. That's why I could get up when I was doing Read With Love so often and it was like 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the morning because I was excited about it. It was something that I wanted to do when I taught. I would still get up at 4, 5 o'clock in the morning, go shower, go to prayer at 6 a.m. Monday through Friday and go to my classroom because I was excited about what it was that I was going to do. And I wasn't tired. I'd be in my classroom until 9 o'clock at night. I ain't even going to get into that. <sighs> Don't hit the sleep or snooze button. If you have an alarm clock, put it away from your bed. And when it goes off, if you need an alarm clock in order to get yourself up, get up, turn it off get started with your day otherwise when you hit that snooze button you make your mind think that it's time to go back to sleep and it's going to get into that it's time to be sleep 75 minutes to 90 minutes sleep inertia lasts typically 15 to 30 minutes after awakening 
and it could last four hours if you hit that snooze. That's where the belief system comes in that says, mm, I don't have enough energy, blank, blank, blankety blank. Tonight, you know, I know it's the weekend and a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, thank God it's Friday. We should thank God for every day because a lot of people didn't make it to today and we did. Thank God for every day. Whether or not you have to get up in the morning, try this. Keep your phone, number one, out of the bedroom. Your alarm clock, if it's by your bed, move it to where when, once it goes off, you have to get up. And once you get up, get started with your day. You know, your morning gratitudes. Hey, Frank, love. Hey, fam. Your morning gratitudes, your morning routines. If you feel growls, drowsy or grousy, unfocused, take the shower. If you are all right and your mentality is there and your ability to be there and be focused, then get started with your day and then see what happens. And then on Sunday, see what happens. Most of us that get up throughout the week, your body is already trained and you don't even need an alarm clock. Your body automatically will do that. It's up to us not to turn over and go to sleep and tell our brains it's not time to get up. Whereas your brain is saying, yes, it is because we already woke up. When you make it go back to sleep, that's where the sleep inertia comes in. And your brain is saying, no, it's not time to get up. You're doing five minutes by hitting that snooze button. Your brain is saying, uh, uh 70 to 90 is what's left. And then you're not able to focus. Your clarity is down. And then you feel like, okay, I need something that's going to pick me up. It's because your mind's not awake yet. You didn't allow it to sleep the entire time. That's called sleep inertia. So think about that. And try it. I think went to bed. We went to bed around 1. <laughs> I was still out before 6. Because now I'm like, you know, let's get up at least by 6. My alarm clock didn't wake me up. Now, will I get back to that 4? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Nevertheless, burning the midnight oil? No. Try to go to sleep for a decent amount of time and get a minimum of 6 hours of rest for your mind. That's about four cycles of that 75 to 90 minute, four or five cycles of that time because we're not in deep sleep all the time. We're in cycles of sleep, all right? And then, you know, of course, if you want the coffee, get the coffee, but you'll notice you won't need it. It's just, oh, uh, you know, I want some coffee today or this morning. You won't feel like you need it, you just want it. All right, I appreciate your time. Thank you for tuning in to this segment. Uh, love you, love your life, love yourself. Again, I am not a medical professional. I just decided to do some research and sleep, see about sleep inertia, that psychological state of mind of impaired cognitive and sensory motor performance and is present immediately after awakening. Mm. That's where your disorientation happens. Your motor skills are down, your focus level is down, your clarity is down, and you just feel drowsy and groggy throughout the morning because you broke your sleep cycle. Six hours. Do that. See what happens. And then let me know how you feel. <laughs> Make it a lovely day. This is about taking care of ourselves as much as possible and keeping our minds sharp, focused, and pituitary gland. Make it a lovely day, not just for you. Find someone else to make it a lovely day for them too. Till the next time, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 12, 12 Central.